What's up guys? This is uh Connor Norris, aka the valet for uh Ten A Hill Nation Disc Golf. Just wanted to go through my bag, show y'all what I'm throwing, which y'all seen me throw a couple times in the videos, and I just wanted to run through what I like them for. Um mainly a forehand player. Uh I'm trying to work on my backhand. I only get about 360, 370 total. Uh and four hands is out to about 420, 430, no help with the wind. Uh, so I just wanted to go through my bag and show y'all. To start off, I want to start with my brand spanking this new disc. It's the uh, Opto Hatch with Kitten. Uh, just got it today. Never had a chance to throw it yet. I'm uh, looking for it to be a backhand distance disc. Hopefully, yeah, I can either turn it over a little bit and get it to come back or. I just flipped out of my hand. I'm not really sure. I hadn't seen too many people talk about it with it being as new as it is. But uh really like the color, really like the feel, and so hopefully that'll be a bomber disc for me. To move on, I carry two throwing putters. One is the classic soft judge. I really like this one for long, straight approaches, type woods, just throw it pretty hard on the hyzer. Let it flip up straight, go straight, finish a little bit left. Uh, turnovers, uh, maybe a little flick up shots. It's a really good approach disc. Uh, next, of course, West Side Shield, probably one of my top three favorite discs. I have the BT Soft for throwing. Nice and stable. I can throw it flat, go flat to stable. I can throw it with a hyzer and it can hold a hyzer. Uh, I can throw it turned over and it'll hold the turnover. If I throw it pretty soft, it'll of course flex out. Uh, I don't have them in my bag, but uh, I carry two hard shields, which I use for putting. And uh, I'm a push putter. Really like the feel of the shield ever since I found it in the Trilogy Challenge last year. Fell in love, and I don't plan on switching anytime soon. Those are my putters. Uh, I have two. VIP harps. Uh, this one's old, more broken in, but it's still nice and stable. Throw it flat, let it come back, dive pretty hard to the basket. Uh, I don't usually use it for flick up shots, even though I can. I prefer using stable fairways or drivers, but uh, I really trust it in the wind. Either way, this one is this one's really really stable. I really like it. I remember throwing it into a not a 10 mile an hour headwind. It was only about 230 feet, but there was water all along the right side. So I threw it flat and really, really hard out to the right. It just held, it held, it held, and all of a sudden it just whoom, came back right under the basket. Uh, really trustworthy disc. I love the VIP harp. Uh, a step up from the VIP harp would be the VIP bard. Uh, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for when I first got it. I wanted it to be a mid-range that I could really put a lot of power behind forehand, 90%, 100%, and have it maybe flip up straight and go dead straight and fade right. Uh, when I did that with the bar, it would come up and go left a little bit. But uh, for backhands, I can throw it as long as I want to flat, Flat left, flat left. Every time, very consistent. I can turn over a little bit, just have it ride just for a little bit, come back pretty hard left. So even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, it uh, became a mainstay in my bag, and I'm really liking it. Uh, it's little brother would be the VIP warship, the Percy. Uh, around here in Mississippi, around Pontotoc, Tupelo, where I stay, there's not a lot of shots for this. So I don't get to throw it as much as I'd like, but uh, man, this is a really great disc. I can throw it hard and flat, have it ride a little bit right, then come back a little bit, throw it a little bit of hyzer, it'll pop up, ride straight, come back. Uh, I don't really like trying to throw it turned over, won't throw it in the wind, but uh, I really like this disc. Moving on, let me see, nope. Uh, the Optoline Striker. Uh, I wanted this to be a disc that I could throw pretty hard forehand 
it would just go dead straight with minimal fade to the right and I didn't need to go as far as some other disc that I'll show you. Uh, became a lot, it's a lot more stable than I thought it was. Uh, this one and the last one I had, both uh, max weight opto line strikers. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad. I can really put all my power behind it. It'll go out 375, 380 and hook up a little bit for forehands. Uh, I don't use it for backhands. But uh, even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, it was a little, it's a little inconsistent for me. Sometimes I can throw it with a hyzer, it'll hold, or sometimes it'll flip up and over. Uh, I'm still working with it, but uh, it's in there. Just it's, It might be a throwaway disc, you know, if there's water and I don't want to throw something else, but I'm trying to work with it. Oh, next we have the Renegade, the uh, Fusion Renegade. It has become my go-to backhand disc for distance. Uh, throw it with some hyzer, let it pop up flat, ride right, and come back a little bit. Uh, that's really all I use it for. I can use it for like tailwind forehands, even though I like using some other discs. I'll show you for that. So this is usually just for backhands. Uh, what weight is it? It's a 173. Still working with it. Still pretty brand new in my bag, so I have some good stability for it. But uh, like I said, just backhand disc for the Renegade. Next. Uh, mm, Tursus. The only reason I have this in my bag is because, uh, along with disc golf, I play Ultimate. And this is probably one of the more frisbee-like discs that I've ever had. Nice and understable. And throw it really, really soft. Have it pop up, ride right, just pop up flat. Uh, I like it for about maybe 80, 90 feet. When I make a flick run at the basket, just throw it like I would of ultimate flick. Have it ride nice and flat, hopefully right into the basket. Uh, got an ace with it, actually, as you can see there. And uh, so, that's what I like this disc for. Oh, yeah. Moonshine Underworld. Uh, I think the Underworld is one of the most underrated discs on the market, absolutely. Uh, I don't have a lot of arm speed backhand, so it's nice for pop up, ride straight, pop up, ride right, depending on how hard I throw it. Actually, I can stand still forehand, throw it with some hyzer, have it pop up and go absolutely dead straight. This is one of the straightest discs I've ever thrown with minimal fade. Nicer in the woods. I like it for actually tomahawks. That's what I use it for most. Y'all call them tomahawks. I call it hammers. Uh, just nice quick turns in the woods. Just nice straight shots. Since I don't have trust my backhand. Uh, Moonshine makes it a little bit more stable so it holds just a tad bit longer than the VIP would. But uh, really love this disc actually. Moving on. I do believe I carry two stags, one in the tournament plastic, one in the VIP. Uh, both max weight. Uh, these are my fairway drivers. I can throw really hard, have it flip up on a hyzer, flat, ride right, come back, the flat, ride right. Just, I mean, it's a very versatile disc. A lot of people didn't like it because they thought, oh, it's not as stable as the numbers say or whatever. For me, I don't care about the numbers. If I feel like a disc feels well in my hand and I can throw it well, I'll work with it. No matter, I don't care if it's a speed 14, but it flies like a putter. If I work with it and I like it, numbers don't matter. And that's what I found with the stag. Uh, like it for hammers as well that hold a little bit longer than the underworld and then come back. I can probably get them out, man, about three. Probably about three. I don't throw hammers much anymore for distance now that my flicks got there. But uh, for woods or just long, need to get over trees and stuff like that, uh, it's a nice shot to have. And this is a really good disc for it backhand, forehand actually. This one holds really well for forehands. I can throw a pretty good hyzer, have it flip up and ride, or just flip up flat and glide and come back. Uh, working with it for forehands, I'm really liking it. Next, we got something hiding back here. Probably one of my top five discs of all time, the Boatman. Two VIPs, both, both max weight. These things are workhorses forehand for me. Uh, I, can, I don't throw these back in. 
just like I said, two stable for my backhand with four hands. I can throw it as hard as I want to. This one I can get a little hyzer flip out of. This one takes a little bit more power to do. It's just like that to flat. Uh, these are pretty much my headwind swords, and I say that is if there's a headwind when I want to throw a sword, pull one of these bad boys out, and then act the same way in a headwind as a sword would, you know, without any wind. So that's why I really like these. Super consistent. Uh, my boy Clay Taylor actually gave me my very first bowman. This one right here still hadn't lost it, and uh, what made me get this one so. Thanks, Clay, for putting me onto the boatman because that's been a wonderful addition and I'll always carry at least two in my bag. Next, we have. Where is that? Again, another top five disc, in my opinion the Lucid Felon. This one's 173 and beat in. This is 175, max weight. Uh, the reason I carry these two felons is because this one is an absolute meat hook. Forehand, backhand, I don't think I could throw this 290, maybe 300 as hard as I can forehand. He just wants to, as soon as it's out of my hand, dive, dive, dive. It is, uh, it is very consistent, very well, and works very well in the wind. Uh, that's what the purple one's in there for. This one is just a thing of beauty. This is a... Uh, <laughs> A beat-in felon is one of the greatest things that I've ever thrown in my life. I can throw it with some hyzer really hard, let it flip up and just ride and glide and come back right 330, 350, four hands if I need to be. Uh, if you do not have a beat-up felon, get you a felon and beat it up or buy one off your friends for five bucks. It'd be the best five bucks you've ever spent because this is one of my go-to discs for almost any situation forehand. And sometimes backhand, I love it. Next we have a VIP Northman. This is my Heiser Flip to flat. Uh, I think it's actually a little less stable than my swords. Uh, I used to throw this all the time for four hands back before I threw swords. And I just let it flip up, ride flat, and come back a little bit right. Uh, I'm trying to work it for back hands. Just nice flat straight to left. A uh, nice little work disc. Uh, so I really don't throw this as much as I used to, just gotten away from it, but it's in there just in case I ever get the feel for it. Next, next, next. Ah, oh, yes. It's in here somewhere, there's another one. The King. Uh, probably my third favorite disc in the world. Uh, Turn my Plastic King, this one's pure backhand distance or tailwind flicks. Uh, still pretty brand new, so I uh, haven't got to work with it a lot. Hopefully I can get it to where I throw it like this one. My VIP Max Weight King. This is the easiest distance I've ever got out of any disc in my life. I can forehand it, pretty good hyzer, let it pop up, ride left, come back right about 420, 430. Uh, this is one of the greatest discs I've ever had. This is the best king I've ever had in my life. So hopefully it, I don't beat it up too quick. And uh, it stays in there for a really long time. Next. Oh, my baby. Pretty much. Uh, I got a max weight sword. Uh, four or five months ago. And it was really, 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 really flippy. Even for my backhand. And so I gave it away. And didn't want to give up on it so I got two more and I wanted these to be discs I could throw with a little bit of hyzer or flat and have them ride with more glide than the boatman and these two have been it. This is one of the farthest flying discs I've ever had in my life. Even the king, it can go toe to toe with it. Uh, just nice flat flicks uh, out to 370, 380, throw it with hyzer, let it come up after about four if I need be. Uh, I don't throw them in the wind, that's what I said what the boatman's for, but uh, no wind, wide open, this is one of the ones I'm throwing, I love these things. And now for the, the main event, I believe, one, two, three, four, five. Six, 
six worlds. I have one 173 uh, VIP. This is one I use in tailwinds or like hazard flips. Uh, I can get this one to go about 420, 430 in a tailwind. I've hit 445 before with this disc. This is my forehand bomber when uh, I really need a long, long flick. This is the world's my favorite disc. Nothing, nothing comes close. Uh, so that's why I carry six. That's that one. Uh, tournament and tournament. Two tournament plastic worlds. These are nice and stable up to about 340, 350. Past that, I have to throw with a little bit of hyzer. These will still, they'll still go the distance. 400, 410 if need be forehand. Uh, I really like them in about any situation except for pretty hard headwinds, which is when I use the twins. Two black elasto worlds, both max weight. I think one's 175, 174 actually. Uh, the elasto world, nothing comes close to it in consistency. I can throw this as hard as I want forehand in headwinds and tailwinds and no wind and crosswinds. This thing's going to do the same thing every single time. I've tested it, I, I mean, many, many times. It's going to go flat. It's going to go right with a pretty good skip every time, no matter what wind I throw it in. Uh, I can throw it pretty, I don't think I can get this one up to 400 just because of the stability. It's more 370, 380. But uh, yeah, even in the summer, I am chunking the heck out of the Elasto Worlds. And this, the Air World, VIP Air World. If you don't have you an Air World and you're a power thrower, forehand or backhand, I want to think about picking you one up. Even though it's 155, 156, this air world is very, very stable and zero wind, of course. Uh, I can throw it as hard as I want to forehand. It'll ride flat, maybe a little left and come back. Uh, I've gotten it out to four. I haven't tried it in a tailwind yet. It's usually what I usually use a king for, but uh, this thing will go the distance. This thing is stable enough to handle your power and fight back. Uh, <laughs> I can't say enough good things about this world and any world in general. I'm always looking for worlds. Uh, next, we're at the portion of my bag where I have some Anova stuff. So, Trilogy guys, don't hate me for it. Uh, it's just when I don't want to throw some other of these discs around water, I'll throw some of this stuff and I'll show you what that is. Uh, first, 12 time Firebird. I throw when I don't want to throw my purple felon, my very overstable felon, flies just the same way, so no difference there. Uh, where's it at? Two Pro Beast, won these at a tournament. Uh, I throw these for Hyzer Flip, ride right, come back left. Uh, pretty much a renegade, but shorter. Uh, I like that. I do like the grip of it, though. That's one good thing about a pro beast. But yeah, when I don't want to throw the renegade, uh, I throw one of these two beasts. This one's a little less flippy than this one, uh, so that's what I use the beast for. Uh, glow T bird and an Echo Star T bird. Uh, these are my stag replacements. Uh, I actually grew to like this one fairly well. It's good for tailwind flicks. Up to about 3:30 at won't budge. Uh, this glow one, pretty stable for backhands and forehands. You can ride a headwind pretty good. Uh, I like it for forehands, but yeah, like I said, I don't throw it except when I don't want to throw the stag. Uh, next, Champion Destroyer. When I don't want to throw a world, uh, got a nice little dome to it, good feel to it. So, uh, it's the only time I'll throw a Champion Destroyer is when I don't want to throw a world. And then the very last disc I have is the, I don't know what plastic this is, I got it off Matt Orem last year. I uh, also have an ace with this disc. Uh, it's a Chimera, I do believe. Uh, this disc is actually really, really good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it doesn't have as much glide as I'm used to with, you know, all the foreign plastic, but uh, it, still, it still throws really well. I can throw it with a hyzer, get it pop up flat and back in about 340, 350 forehand. 
Uh, I can throw it backhand, it just flat and left, about 3, 310 maybe. Uh, I can get it out to about 370, 380, I've never touched 4 with it. I think that was because of the lack of glide. But I can get it to come up, over, left, and back for four hands. Uh, what really impresses me about this disc is this is the grippiest plastic I have ever felt. I mean, all the SUC, the Champion, the Salt, whatever plastic you want to name, nothing comes close to this in rain. I'm sorry. I remember I was playing in the tournament, and through the front nine, I was like three or four up. And so I decided, and it was in the rain, of course, I decided to play with this disc and I think a shield, and I shot two or three down on the back nine just with you know two discs just because of the superb grip this disc gives you really really beat up I wouldn't say really really beat up but uh, I got an extra one over there signed by Matt Orm just in case this one runs out of life and I decide to throw another one but I think whenever this runs out of life I'll just retire it and let it ride off into the sunset and uh, that's what I like this disc for uh, I do believe that's everything. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more in the bags up. Uh, Y'all haven't seen Will Story throw yet. and uh, His in the bag I think will be pretty good. Especially after y'all see him throw his young gun. Got a cannon for an arm. I've seen him throw 450, 460 backhand. Uh, it's, he's really fun to watch throw. He takes a lot of Simon Lazard-esque routes. Just crazy stuff. That's... Uh, so I think it'll be fun to see what he throws, why he throws it, and just also y'all watching him throw one video, learn to break down his form. Uh, yeah, hopefully get in the bags from a bunch of different people. Maybe the actual Tannehill will do one. Uh, Jeff will maybe blush a little bit at it, but hopefully he'll sit down and do one for us. Uh, try to get Mandy to do one, Prodigy sponsored, see all what kind of stuff she's throwing. Uh, and hopefully, yeah, we'll get this thing up and off the ground and running. So, uh, subscribe, pay attention to us, watch out for us in a tournament. If you see any of us, holler, say what's up, you know, we're friendly. Uh, but yeah, man, thanks. Peace.